Okay, I have finished my row of four, or my other rows of puffs, and I have four puffs in my designs. And now I'm ready. I've already done the single front post crochet and chain two, and I'm ready to flip to the next row. And I'm going to show you how to start to transition into the next design. Um, you're gonna do the same thing here. You're just gonna do two back post double crochets. But when you get to where you would put a puff, you're just going to go back and do what we did in the beginning, which was chain two and join with a slip stitch right in the center of where you would put the puffs. So chain two, and then that gives you this little space here and it starts to bring the curve of the cable together. And you're just gonna do that until you get to the third stitch in the center of your little group of six here. So you've got three on this side, three on this side, and then you're going to chain one and do your back post double crochets. You just need to put a space here, just like we had a space here in the beginning, um, so that you have somewhere to start the next design in the next row. <clears throat> um, just continue to do that all the way across. Remember that instead of putting, you're not doing puffs, you're doing chain two slip stitch in the center of the puffs, and then in the center of these groups of six, you're going to chain one, but you're going to continue to do the back post double crochets. You just need to chain one there so you know where to start the design on the next row. Okay, I have finished my row and I am ready to go back and work on the front again. Um, we're just going to take and do two front post double crochets and then to complete this design here you're just going to chain one and that is complete. Once you do these double crochets, that closes that design. That is everything to make one of these little designs. Um, when we come to the next row, Nothing will be done here. It will just go straight across like that. None of that is there. You'll just do post double crochet, post double crochet all the way across. And it'll become this part right here, but right here. Okay, so moving on to actually starting the next little design here. Um, you're going to go back and you're going to do the chain two slip stitch, chain two, um, just like we did down here when we started these. And that's what you're going to do all the way across. Just do your front post double crochets on top of the old design. You're going to chain one to finish it and then do your three front post double crochets chain two, slip stitch, chain two, front post double crochet, and just keep going like that all the way across. Okay, I went ahead and started the next row. Um, it should be pretty self-explanatory at this point. You're gonna put two puffs in where you did the chain two slip stitch, and you're just gonna keep going just like you did before. Um, there's going to be six on each side instead of three. Um, six front post double crochets instead of three. So there's going to be a solid block here and you're going to work on your designs 
in the center of where there used to be the solid block. Um, this took almost an entire skein of baby yarn. Um, it is plenty deflated. I might be able to finish this next row. Uh, so that should give you a good idea of about how much yarn you're gonna need for a project this size. Um, I will say that uh, when you're doing your sides, you can do um, half of a, a design on the edge here um, by just doing one puff and going and that kind of makes it have like a, a wave. Um, I like the way that that looks so sometimes I will do that but it's hard to put a border on it. So this is a little more streamlined. It still has kind of a curve as you can see but you know it, it's not as wavy as it is if you did the um, half of the design there. Um, I feel like I had more to say about it. If you have any questions, feel free um, to comment and I will post the diagram again um, for anybody who has no idea what I'm talking about when I keep referencing the diagram, the diagram. Um, and I hope that you found this helpful. Take care. I completely forgot that I promised that I was going to show how to do it in the round. Um, I will probably just post a separate video for like with a tutorial on how to make this hat because I mean that's what you all really want to know anyway, right? You just want to know how to make the hat. Um, so it's going to take a while, probably a lot longer than I have the patience to make a video today, but I will make a separate video for the hat and then you'll know how to make it.